from Fat Albert, it takes center stage at the start of each demo, performing a Genesis to takeoff or Jado that highlights its short field takeoff capability. Eight solid fuel lockets help propel the plane skyward in half the length of runway it usually needs and in half the time. For the Marine pilots at Fat Albert's controls, it's a thrill being part of the show. That's the beach of demo. I'll be honest with you. Be able to uh, fly 100 feet above the ground, 310 knots. I'd be able to this aircraft at 45 feet. It comes up and fire the uh, jail bottles off in a rush. It's something that very few people can do today. And uh, it never, ever gets old. It's quite the experience. And for one provincial team member, that experience may have come to an unexpected end. After a month being grounded for a severe cold that brought on dizziness and exhaustion, Major Dan Shipley's condition has not been <laughs> During that time, hoping for a quick recovery, the team flew a five-man demo without him in the number three jet. Shipley, meanwhile, returned to the training center at Lemoore to test his true tolerance in the centrifuge. Ultimately, I think what it revealed was that Knuckles didn't have physiologic reserve to handle high G's without the G's that some other pilots might have. This was not the outcome anyone expected. Major Shipley realized a decision had to be made about how long the team could go without him. I trust the team. I trust this would be a team decision and, and we'd all be together looking out for me. So I gave it to them that uh, I have enough time I'm sick, what should we do? I think we got to a point where we just yeah. enough time had gone by and Knuckles still wasn't feeling quite himself that I think what we found is that we couldn't get there from where we were. That's one of the most difficult things I've ever done was to make a recommendation that he may have an ongoing issue that would interfere with his ability to fly in the airport jet. Flight Surgeon Mullen's recommendation provided the medical rationale. Yet in deciding to replace Major Shipley, Boss Bartlett knew he was putting an end to a fellow pilot's dream. There's one Scott Red King decision that I've ever had to make in my career. But we didn't want to do it. We had to do it. You know, we didn't have a choice. But it was difficult. We wanted knuckles on the team. It was tough. It took years. We were all very fast moving. Business work. You've got to keep going. You've got to get the show going. There's no delays. And uh, unfortunately, there just wasn't enough time for me to get back. Uh, you know, it, it opened my eyes to, you know, I never expected this to come so quick. Especially all the time I took to rush, and then uh, I got picked on the team, and all of a sudden, wow, it ended that quick. And that was, that was hard. The abrupt turn of events took one member of the team by surprise. I thought this was just a temporary thing, so it was, it was very difficult when they were telling him, and they said, does, any, you know, does anybody have uh, want to say anything? And I, I just couldn't, I couldn't speak. It was, it was my best friend on the team, and uh, it was just hard to even kind of let that, that take you know, effect. This is a life change for him. It's something that he's always dreamed of, uh, as we all have. He's a great pilot, and for him to, to leave like this, it really, you know, it makes me, it makes me feel like, you know, I should be the one leaving because Knuckles deserves to be here more than I do. Boss Martin was not through making decisions. Now, he would have to fill the number three pilot spot in the demo, and quickly. We don't have spare pilots on this team. All we have is the pool of people who have left the team in recent years. And you can't just take a new guy from the fleet and train him up. You have to take someone who's already been a Blue Angel, completed his time here, and has gone back to the fleet and recall. Within a few days, the team decided the best candidate to replace Major Shipley 
Barry in the demo was one who had just left the team at the end of last season. Got the family trucks are loaded up. Lieutenant Commander Jerry Darren had flown the number three jet two years earlier and was last year's slot pilot. Lieutenant Commander Jerry Darren. JD was uh, the best choice for us, the best fit. We thought that, uh, you know, he's the right personality, he's the right guy for the job. He's recently left, so his skills are going to be the sharpest. His squadron was able to let him go. He wanted to come back, you know, when he knew we had a problem, and he was, he was on board. Darren was so eager to help the team, he drove nonstop from California to Pensacola to get started. Within two days, he was at the tailor shop near the Naval Air Station, getting a new number sewn on his flight suit. I would have never guessed this in a thousand years, but I guess in the back of my mind as I left the team uh, last November, I thought, well, you know what, I think this is probably the last time, but you never know. The team met, and they decided that I was the right fit, so it was honored to be called to come back. Coming back meant that, along with relearning to fly the number three jet, Darren would have to fit into an existing team structure. Just want to say thanks everybody for uh, the support and bringing me back. It's awesome to be here. Um, especially after being back in the fleet for a while. You know, it kind of re-changes your, your mindset. And uh, Boston had a good good chat yesterday about, uh, you know, the dynamics here and the fact that, you know, last year I traded Varmint and now this year, you know, you're here uh, beating me over the head. And, uh, you know, it's going to take me about a couple weeks to really get back in there and get the hand to strength and stuff. But uh, my contract is, uh, hey, you guys have already had a policy meeting. You know, I'm going to live by that and uh, be part of this team that you guys have established and just do my best to fly on that one side and that one So, man, it's awesome. You are away from the team. You were with the team for just a week or two. You come back and things have changed. You know, you feel that you're, you know, a little bit behind the power curve as far as what the team is doing and just staying in the current groove or the current atmosphere of the team it changes throughout the year. And it takes a little while to kind of get back into the group. Losing Major Shipley was a blow to more than just the squadron pilots. Maintenance and support team members offered their own parting tribute to an officer they considered a friend. We're all gathered here today. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm looking forward to, to tightening up the demo, uh, tightening up the squatter, and just 
really make the blade the best part. With a new number three pilot on board, there's little time to waste. The team has an air show scheduled in two days.